Back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm still Alex. This is still EU4. We're still going for the Sworn Fealty achievement. God, I can almost taste it. It's so close. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I never got out of school for being sick or anything for very long at all. Even when you're out for a broken bone, don't you still have to do the work? I mean, you don't have to go in, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, the, um... The school I went to would just, like, send you work. If you were out of school for some reason. That or it was, like, come back and have to do all the work at once. I never understood homework. I get, like, it... I get the idea in theory. And here I am, like, a 20-something-year-old complaining about homework, but... The idea, in theory, makes sense, right? You test people on a regular basis, daily basis, to make sure they know the material. But it's also bullshit, because it's just busy work. And it's not, like, accomplishing anything, it's not actually challenging, it's more just to see if someone's, like, paying attention or not. I'd rather just be able to, like, test out of classes and regularly take exams than do homework. And exams so often can be tested or, uh, handled by computers. Like, through scantrons and things of that variety, so why, why not? Oh god, you've gone to school with strep throat, pink eye, and the flu. Oh, not all at once. I thought it was all at once. I'm like, god damn, you're typhoid Mary! Because <laughs> of the huge amounts of homework. <laughs> like, PhD level academics of 11th grade work isn't really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my issue with high school in the latter years, was... Wikipedia was a thing, so in my free time I was learning about, like... Complicated, nuanced subjects. But at school, it was all very... Boring, easy work. Now there are better ways to go about it than I did, but... Did, what? Oh, we just lost a claim on them or something. Okay, fair. But I was not happy. Not happy with that. Can I... France. France, you're still dicking around down here again? You're... In France. You want, you want military access? Never mind. Delhi, you... Sure. Why not? Can I have a larger army, please, game? Nope. And my fifth grade math homework made me and my mom cry? Sad. What was it on? Do you remember? Were you, were you still homeschooled in 5th grade? I know you were for a brief period of time. Accumulate money? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I hated geometry. But then, I just didn't do it. Not that it was hard, just I was incredibly disinterested. Word problems? Like, pre-algebra word problems? Huh. I mean, the word problems in... A lot of standardized material do seem like they're just trying to fuck with you and trick you. Uh, let's do that. Yes, you can have access. I was able to join college math course for a semester taught by a math teacher and broke down no less than five times crying. Nope. I've never cried from academic material. I've gotten, like, incredibly turned off. Like, look at it go like, I don't want to do that and then not do it. But that's, that's how I deal with, uh, deal with stress in general. It's just like, nah, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it, I don't want it. Standardized testing is shit. It is, but it's easy. If you learn how the logic works, it's incredibly easy. I... I loved tests. Because they were so fucking easy in comparison to the 
the uh, monotonous effort of going to class and doing the homework and participating in class. Instead, I could just, like, do one thing once, test out, and be done. Putting off four weeks of online homework for the day it's due is generally not a good strategy. Yeah, agreed. But that's how I went through college and high school. Not how I work professionally, is the thing. If I'm on a project, I want to get the project done as soon as possible, I proactively work on it all the time, but schoolwork? <laughs> no, no, it's bullshit work, you know it, I know it, we all know it, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. And we test how easily you can regurgitate taught information? Yep, that is absolutely true. And sometimes not even that. Sometimes it's just how well you can read test logic and know what it was going for. Was that our error? Oh, thank God it wasn't. Like, don't you do this to me, game. We're so close here. There are 29 human rights. Depends on what countries you're talking about. Uh, guaranteed by the United Nations? There's... Is it 29? I mean, there's a couple that the United States specifically have not signed off on, like uh, the Children's Rights Act. Right side of your body, stage right. <laughs> it's a terrible joke. That shouldn't have made me laugh that much. It's good. Oh, man. <clears throat> Why am I seeing Ottoman troops up here? What are you doing? Are you allied with anyone? Did they actually help you? I, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. So, Yemen. Yaman. 49, huh? Alright. Guess I'll wait. Guess I'll wait. There are... List of human rights. Articles 16 through 30. United Nations Declaration the de 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 <laughs> Declaration of Human Rights. Um gimme that sweet sweet mercantilism. 30. This is a simplified version, simplified version of Article 30 Articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights has been created especially for young people. Not, nah, not, nah, not. Nah. Give me a better list. HR Library. Yeah, the, the actual one by the United Nations would be cool. Free and equal rights. In dignity and rights. Alright. You're endowed with reason and conscience, and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Okay, I mean, Cain and Abel were brothers, but alright. Everyone is entitled to the rights and freedom set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political, or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-governing, or any other limitation of sovereignty. Well, we... Already don't listen to that part. Socialization, yeah, is really important for human development and the fact that schools condemn active socialization by punishing you for talking in class or working together or socially organizing is completely backward. I don't want to be a brother. <laughs> Um, everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the security of person. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery in the slave trade shall be prohibited in all of their forms. Yo, dog. You may be shocked to find out that the, uh, prison industrial complex is an extension of the slavery system in the United States, and we continue to use what is effectively tr slave labor in many prisons in the United States. 
but I guess we're not counting that. So sure, yeah, uh, no one should be held in slavery, except in prisons. Uh, no one should be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. On well, the United States, we break all of those. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. We're pretty good on that one. All are equal before the law. Ha! <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, we're not. Rich people and corporations. Anyone? No, no, bullshit. No, we're not equal before the law. We should be and should be entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination, a violation of this declaration against any incitement to such discrimination. Yeah, that would be wonderful, but that's just like straight up not true. There are so many inherent biases in prejudices built into the way that we form cultural and social identity that that can't be avoided. And so many fiscal realities of living in a capitalist world that that is impossible. Worse is there no tolerance policy on violence, especially self-defense? Yeah, they're in the United States. It sounds like a school in the United States. Um, you're losing this war. Would you still join in? God damn, you're determined. Yeah, I... Schools are, um... Policed. Very heavily. And... Man, do I retake all that for you? Well, I guess we retake all that for you. Well, but then I can't humiliate them and they wouldn't be my rival anymore. Nope, never mind. Schools in the United States are... They, they teach you... To respect authority. To, if you break the rules, do it in a way that you'll get away with it and not get caught that class and social status absolutely matter more than anything else that you know they you can't defend yourself that you have to call a security guard or a policeman to do it for you that the only exercise of force that is legitimized or allowed is that exercised by the state by the school in this case yeah, God, I hate how authoritarian schools are in the United States. Public schools. I mean, not all schools, but damn near all schools. But where do you stand on the political spectrum? I'm very socialist. I'm very socialist. I think that there should be a cap on how much anyone can make in income per year that the amount that your tax should increase as your income increases, that there should be a maximum wage, a minimum wage that is a livable minimum wage. I believe that social services like health care, education, higher education, proper infrastructure, child care, uh, services for death services, stuff like that, food, Access to the internet, access to clean running water, access to electricity should all be subsidized and paid for by the state. I feel that the entire emphasis on our GDP and the well-being of our econ economy is complete bullshit here in the United States. Our love of capital has led to the destruction of hundreds of thousands and millions of lives, not just by killing people, but by putting them in unlivable conditions where they can't get out of those conditions and their descendants can't get out of those conditions. I, ugh, yeah. I am very left-leaning. I'm borderline Marxist in many ways. I like a strong federal state. In, in theory, my ideal system of government would be an AI overlord. I'm not kidding. Uh, an AI would better distribute resources, power, information, wealth, whatever, better than any human device system. It would be able to be aware of everything going on at every point, the actual needs of everyone else. I, uh, I think that voting should be mandatory. <laughs> and I think that voting should be something facilitated by, like, social media apps. Or something ridiculously simple and intuitive.
Yeah. I mean, I have some pretty weird ideas about government, so it's... It's totally reasonable that I am, like, completely out of place in the United States. I mean, hell, it's hard enough for us to agree that... ...non-straight people should be able to get married, or that you should be able to smoke marijuana. Like, for fuck's sake, we have such a low bar in the United States, I'm talking about, like, a... ...fucking AI-run workers' utopia. I come from a very conservative background, though. I was born in Kentucky, and much of my family is quite conservative. Some of my best friends have been libertarian, and we have had some very interesting conversations trying to uh, hash out compromises between our worldviews. I really wish that, um, that it were easier for us to be, like, open and respectful of other people's politics in the United States. Like, we're very encamped in left versus right right now, which makes sense for a lot of reasons, but there's a lot of needless belligerence there. If you want the AI to rule the world, you should check how good it is at EU4. No, I'm talking legit. AI, not I only run on two cores AI. Jesus Christ! Holy God! <laughs> we... No, audience, please don't do this to me! <laughs> don't! <laughs> oh, fuck! If they take Alexandria and don't give it to me, and they take it in this piece, I am gonna be so pissed. Don't, you son of a bitch. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't, you're not marked as wanting it. Mm, well, yeah, you are. I want... Oh, it's... <laughs> True AI, not a, not bad virtual intelligence like you 4 has. Who am I fighting with here? A lot of people. Who's in charge of this? War of the Ottomans? Why have you not pieced out Yemen yet? Give me Aiden. Give me Aiden at least, you motherfuckers. You fucking bastards. I... If they take Alexandria here, we are fucked. I cannot win this. I cannot beat the Ottomans. No one can beat the Ottomans in this game. I, um... Oh boy. They, they did. I... I may indeed be cuckolded here. Ooh. I don't like it. We don't like it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, Game, did you hear me talking about how good you'd be at running the world? No? Alright. Alright. So I guess we just have to coast this one out and see what happens. <laughs> I could truce out early, start a second war for Alexandria immediately following this? They didn't take it. No, it's not over. I, I right-clicked and tricked myself. So why is this not over? You want Tirana? You have Tirana. Oh fuck, you want Tirana, so you're almost certainly gonna take this. No! <laughs> Yemen will give me everything. Well, hey, you know, you did one thing right here. has become the cuck. <sighs> it was only a matter of time. I should have been more careful about this. And if they do take it, I, I can't. For fuck's sake, Russia can't win this right now. 
I hate you. Well, the border score is really not all that high. What's up with this? Is it just that you have a lot of territory occupied? And I got this. That's pretty cool. Uh, I need this. This is the last thing I need. Press intensifies. Wah, wah, wah. I think they're gonna take it. I think they're gonna take it. There's no reason for them not to. 2,000 Bosnian separatists. <laughs> Bosnian state in Alexandria. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be nice. New consort? No. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, yes, all right, cool, 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 cool. You didn't fuck me. You could have fucked me, and you didn't fuck me. Thank you, Ottomans. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. We end this. You just just train. Just train? Train. Our tribal allegiance is terrible. We're gonna have to go wreck a bunch of people after this. It's fine. Fine. I just need to form Arabia, then I can take the next 150 years to make that happen. Uh oh. Jesus Christ, you monster. Oh, can we get a quick look at Europe? Hell yeah, you can. Austria's kind of a monster. They have been beating France pretty reliably. Spain is doing quite well for themselves. The Papacy is doing pretty well. Milan's holding on. Brandenburg's getting there. The Commonwealth has been eaten away at by the Ottomans. England, it's just like stalled out for some reason. We have Kildare and Gaeldom up here. The Netherlands are doing great. Denmark is still alive. Sweden's doing what Sweden does. And then we got this big boy up here. We we have a Russian. Bohemia's doing all right. Uh, the HRE is not reforming anytime soon. World conquest potential. <laughs> uh, depends on who. Ah, the Ottomans, the Ottomans could probably pull off a world conquest if they turned into traitorous, traitorous bastards here. I mean, the AI's never, the AI has never made a world conquest happen, right? I think that's the key difference between it and human players. The wonderful Russian-Swedish border, yeah, this is a beautifully historic border. Well, except for this, right? Should, uh... Could this not be Norway's? Well, Sweden's in this case? No, I think this is historical. Did you take Goa? That's Portugal. I am nowhere in here. This is... Portuguese. What achievement is next? Let's, let's not talk about it. Let's just do one thing at a time. I... I don't want to curse it. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I have no idea what achievement will be next, honestly. Um, I may switch over to playing Darkest Dungeon or RimWorld with the rest of the time that I have today, rather than get started on a whole new EU4 campaign. Hey. Ten more. The new sound. The new sound is so good. <laughs> hey, Professor Sack. Yeah, I was a little late starting the stream today because I was sampling Fable sounds and putting them in instead of the uh, notification sounds I was rocking before. Break your fucking truce. Yeah, but even if I break the truce, I can't beat them on my own. I'm hot garbage and they're allied with Russia, who would join them. I can't beat Russia. 
I have 32,000 men. That's it. Small, small army. Tiny, tiny army. Tiny, useless Arabian army. Yeah, you know, though, I could. Could. We are ahead of time. A hurry. Make this into a territory. Tour that shit. Um, lower Yemen. Really? Okay. Core that. Shit. Yep. And now I can't core everything. Wow, wow, wow. You can have that. What provinces does Milan need for Italy? Rome. Right? It needs Rome. They have Firenze. I, I think they might need Napoli. I don't remember if you need Naples or not, but they're very close. It is been pretty good. I mean, with the exception of the heart attack I almost had earlier, with the Ottomans almost stealing Alexandria and destroying this run for me. But besides that, this is going all right. Well, I'm, I'm still here. Wait, oh, Yemen's still around. Napoli's not needed now. Yeah, I don't remember the current requirements to form it. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was terrifying. I'm so happy that it's not. Do I have CK2? Ooh, I do. I do. I haven't played it in a while. But I was actually having a conversation a week ago about how it might be good stream content because of the emergent narratives and it's fun to it's more tangible for people who aren't familiar with grand strategy as a genre like crusader kings are playing as specific people right and that's pretty tangible but uh <laughs> yeah but e4 you're running an entire country and there's a lot of buttons and a lot of text and i pop read through pop-ups really quickly and if you're unfamiliar this is just a bunch of confusing nonsense TK2 Jewish Yemen happening? No, there's not Jewish anything happening, unfortunately. I I like CK2 in small small pieces. Small bits. But I can't stand going for a world conquest in it. It just starts tearing me apart. Stellaris might be my favorite paradox game. It needs a lot of work, and it's getting a lot of work done. But the setting and the ambition, I really like. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. I'm pretty into it. Right now, I'm really wanting to play RimWorld and Darkest Dungeon, though. Because I haven't played those in a long time. And I already started up a couple of games, and I've got to get more videos on that YouTube playlist so it doesn't look like I'm abandoning it. Gotta get work done. Jewish is hard in this game. Jewish is hard in every game. Jewish is hard in life, I think. Rimworld is pretty sweet, and it's been long enough since I played it that I'm... I've forgotten a lot of stuff. Alright, I need to beat up a rival. Timurids, how are you doing? You're a rival. How, how big is your army? Not big at all. Let's go, let's go beat up the Timurids. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry, but I, I feel like a jerk for this. Can I make my navy bigger? Uh, I can't. Navy too good. Vicky 2 isn't bad at all. No, Vicky 2 is fun. Uh, it has quite a learning curve, like a lot of Paradox titles, but... Hello, Persia. Where the hell did you come from? Are you... Okay, all right. You're rivaled with me. I should probably just beat you up. Can I call Sind and promise them land? I'm not gonna get them. I'm gonna do that. Hey, Sind. I'll give you land if you join this war. Um. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. Not leave you out to dry or anything like that. Retake that. Get in on that. 
This is winnable. Ye mm, no, this isn't in win C. This is not winnable. Feed were stand its cores. Yeah, it has these cores right here. But what I'm really interested in in this war is just humiliating the Timurids to build up tribal allegiance because that's abysmally bad. I guess we should form Arabia first. Ever form room? No, I haven't. I uh, I could very easily on one of the saves I have, but I want to save that for the achievement where you do it as Caraman. Because I think that'll be a pretty triumphant way to do it for the first time. Should be an event for forming room with the capital in Bermuda. Oh, yeah. I like it. I want more pun-based achievements. Rename the country to Bermuda. <laughs> um, this is fine, right? I mean, that's a lot of dudes. So I should... Oh, that is a lot of dudes. I should have been more proactive about this. I mean, I'm taking the war goal, but what I really want to do is go crush their armies. I guess if I wait in the mountains, I can beat them. Alright. Alright. More stand, there you go. Just keep knocking out these one by one. Might have been a bad idea to start this. The one where you take hee hee, ha ha, and lolland is pretty good. I don't have that one. Though, I do like the uh, the idea behind it. Oh god, no. Just stay there. Siege this down quickly. Barrage. That's a lot of troops. That's a lot of dudes. I don't like that many dudes. No. Let's get this. We're going over here, of course. Can't ever do this the easy way. Oh, gotta do this the fucking hard way. Uh, am I attacking them in the mountains? Shit. It's too late to stop. Well, rip. Eh? Ah, I won. How about that? How about that? Let's go take care of this. Boom. Goes the dynamite. No, don't reinforce that. Don't reinforce that. Don't. Wah! 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 <laughs> so we have the war goal, but... Sind is actually hurting us more than the, the time they help. You didn't attack in the mountains. It's the malice. I did, though. I did. Because they have that fort, and I count it as besieging it. I have a 17% war score right now. That's kind of nice. It was a fort under your control. This one, these two were not. The one over here was. Oh god, my army. This is the mountains, right? Yeah, we just sit here and wait. And, you know, if you would be so kind as to not be trying to be a hero right now, just be supportive. Yeah. Hang, hang out with me right here. Just come sit with Papa Naj down this island and let's talk about life. Because I got the war goal. And they're making gains, and the length of the war hasn't been very long, but... Yeah, I can sell that. Would you... Not... Blockade? Oh my god. This was a mistake! This was a horrible mistake. My hubris. Ah, uh, that'll keep ticking up. Um, I should go take that out. The sooner the better. In fact, and I could probably, once this is gone, run back up here and take this out. It's just if they're mutually reinforcing that they become a problem. No, we're going here, here, and then here. Don't try to cross over there, you're going to get blocked. Okay, there's that. You're going to have to go here now. Does this actually... Nope, that'll fall pretty quickly. It... What? 
Oh, you revoked the condottieri. Okay. Okay, okay then. Um, let's go eat up this now very easy enemy. There's our godsend. There goes Morgul. Yeah, but this is mountains, so marsh. Marsh. Marsh, not mountains. Good enough. Good enough for me. No, no, you're next. This isn't the mountains. I am attacking into the mountains here, but worth. And go take this. Drop, go here. Drop one of these on it. There's the Wargle. Oh, oh god, the air is horrible. Oh my god, wicked. Get, get out of here. I don't care if I. I don't care if there's a bad event after this. That air was abysmal. Ah, one, two, one. Great. I'll just sit here disappointed. Example to us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like, let's crunch that army and I guess go. No, let's go here. That's more worth our time. Nope, you got it. All right. No, it, it, this is fine. Everything's fine. Is that an air? Hell yeah, that's a great air. This fort back. We have the war goal. I, I, I should have kept the damn fort up here. <laughs> the, the Ottomans once again are my downfall because they can just walk through the Ottoman territory. There we go. Have that fort. Let's go take care of this. Oh yeah, you're just spreading like the plague through Arabia through my terrible forts. Sometimes I name my heirs after myself. Nah. I think that's kind of fun. I mean, they put it in the game that you can change their name for a reason, right? Not like they expect you to not do it. That'd be weird. I don't want a white piece here, man. I I need you to uh, die for me. Just not, not a big deal, not a big ask. I know, just roll over and... Um, Die. Can you do that for me? Very appreciative. Nope. Alright. Oh, that's cool. I'm just keeping this fort going on forever. <laughs> the difficulty of this war right now is not that there are so many of them. That's part of it. The difficulty is that they're all over the damn place. Go make sure they don't take my capital. Beat that army. Beating the army doesn't really mean much when they can siege down your forts that fast, but... Go, go here. Go there. Why do you have to go the long way around? Oh, I'll catch him in the mountains. I'm attacking at a disadvantage, and this is a messy, ugly, ugly war. I lost the war goal. Now they think that they're winning, and they technically are. I hate... I hate how forts work now. I hate that they can walk through my allies' territory who isn't in this war. The Ottomans are not in this war, so the military access should not allow them to just pop out through here. I... This game should have uh, Hearts of Iron style military access controls, where you need to be in the territory of someone who is at war with the person you are at war with for that military access to matter. Jesus Christ! Fight me, you fucking cowards. This is how every war we have fought has gone. That they've just started sieging down tons and tons of territory. And it's just annoying. It's not difficult. It's just aggravating. And we can't afford forts because we're Arabia and we're poor because we're Arabia. 
Anytime I want to expand, we have to take provinces, and to do that, we have to fight these exhaustingly long wars. Oh, it's just a hell of a cycle. Maybe try surgeon fish them entirely and clearing. Yeah. Yeah, it. Sieging them entirely. Surgeon fishing them entirely. I like that. Autocorrect is really weird. Yeah, but I dig it. Have you tried surgeon fishing them? That's new. I would win this war, is the thing. <laughs> Done! Easy! Um, yeah, give that the word, Stan. See, it doesn't matter if they occupy all of this garbage territory, because this is worth no war score. It's 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 7. That's weird. But for the most part, it's all worthless anyway. That's fine. Unfortunately, that really didn't do anything except stabilize our tribal allegiance. We need to humiliate them in the next war, not take territory from them. I've never in my life typed surgeon fish. Well, today could be the day. Ah, I, I see. The Ottoman conquest of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're not calling me in why? Let's just double check. Yeah? Um, you know I hate them. Oh, that's cool. I'll wait. I'll wait. I will Nindra Alexandria here. I'll do it. I don't have a claim on Alexandria anymore? You... Fuck. Alex, you fool. Alright, so this needs to get out of here. Declare immediately. Yeah, and let this 46 stack wipe me out? Nope, I have to be very cautious about this. Oh my god, it'll call in Russia? You son of a bitch. I hate you. I got there first. I'll start the fight. I will win the fight because of Ottoman reinforcements, albeit barely. I'm staying here so I get the siege. Nothing to worry about. After this, I go and take their capital, wherever the hell that is, and I just force them out for Alexandria. That's it. Tempted. <laughs> I, am, I am tempted. Uh, what is the war score here? Algarb? Ah, uh, and you have that. Oddmans, could you, like, for once in your life not be complete dicks? The goal of this campaign is to get the Sworn Fealty Achievement. To get the Sworn Fealty Achievement, you need to start as a Arabian Tribal Federation, like Naj. You need to unite Arabia and have maximum tribal allegiance. To unite Arabia, right now, the only thing that we are missing is Alexandria. We take this, we can form Arabia. After we do that, we just need to raise tribal allegiance by beating up our rivals, and it should be pretty easy. But the Ottomans, yeah, the Ottomans take the war goal. The Ottomans are not making life easy on us. They're allies, but they keep on not calling us into their wars. Is it because you don't trust me? Yeah, it's because you don't trust me. You goddamn it. Oh. Hello. Let's just step out of the way for that. No, no ticking war score for you. Nothing for me, apparently. Because Russia's also at war with the Ottomans, they should get dealt with, but, well, we'll find out, won't we? Ooh, Dumiat's empty? Yeah, let's take that. No, 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 fuck. Fine. No, I'll retake that back, it's fine. <laughs> you... No, no, don't you come over here. 
Okay, no, you can come over there. That's fine. I can't leave? Why can I not? Oh, because this is a fort. Ah! Hey, they retook my war goal. Why don't you make sure that 46k in the north doesn't retake Alexandria? You mean, like they did? I can't actually take on this stack by myself, so I'm so glad that they're walking up here and going to attack the Ottomans outright. That's nice. Um, Ottomans are apparently having a bad time. I'm into that. I'm very into that. I'm out of manpower. Slacking standards. Slacking so many standards. And I can't recruit these anymore because they ticked by one too many. I... <laughs> Game. Game, you motherfucker. Why is the Ottoman army split up in 30 different stacks? AI. That's why. AI. They're trying to combine armies, and those armies are tr trying to combine with other armies, which are trying to combine with other armies. It all makes sense to them. Not to us, though. Hey, 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 hey. I see you coming for me. I'd prefer it if you didn't. Oh, fuck. Alright. Fuck. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to do that. Oh, no. Okay, I can't at least retreat. Go back to the capital. That's not my capital. Trust doesn't even matter. It does. It does. It's stupid, but it does. And it's more just to make sure they don't break their alliance with me at any point in here, because I'm taking something that they really want. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. So, what the fuck is this garbage? Also, the performance is just getting abysmal. You might be noticing. Because there's about a million Ottoman stacks moving around, and about a million Russian stacks moving around to counter that. Oh lord, this is the exact reason why Hearts of Iron performance starts tanking after a while. Our general died. Alright, let's look at what we got. You are not actually that bad. Can I recruit a better general from you? Well, I will certainly try. I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. One, two, three. You're amazing. You're also amazing. Um, you are the best. Six, four, four. I'm gonna run down here and try and deal with this as quickly as possible. Break an alliance at 90 trust if they go batshit crazy over a gold province. Yeah, it's kind of annoying how the AI can't be reasoned with, isn't it? Okay, they detached their leader from the large stack. Why the hell did they do that? Because now I'm going to be able to get in there, attack this large stack, and they won't have a leader defending it. Now they do, but I got off with a very good start to this, and if I kept growing good... What, what's happening here? Game, explain this to me. Their tactics are better. Is it because their tech is better? No. Is it because their discipline is better? Yes. That is a shame. Top provinces are heavily developed. Yeah. Oh, I'm not heavily developed. Not at all. Mamluks have quantity, um, they, they just have a lot of development, and I think they must have quantity, right? No, they don't. Offensive... Hmm. Strange. Oh, god. Why aren't you using all three advisors? Because I'm poor as hell? But actually, right now, we can't afford it. We just haven't been able to afford it for the majority of this campaign. He's poor. <laughs> and I lost it. He's poor and in a war I shouldn't be in. Mostly, this war is just to make sure the Ottomans don't take Alexandria. It's okay if the Mamluks do, if they keep it. 
Honestly, it's okay if they beat us and take territory from us, so long as it's not one of the ones I really want. My bar is pretty low for this war. Why the hell did we get wrecked by that so badly? I hate how bad our armies are. Our ideas, if you're not familiar, are all just terrible. Our ability to get ideas has also been just terrible in this game. You're stacked on top of me. We're Sangawi. Really? We're Sangawi? You, you... What? What? Defender against Naj in Naj the Conquest of Algar. Oh no, I was misreading this. Uh, Wuristan, yeah, yeah. So as soon as you core Alexandria, I can be Arabia. Yep. We really are just that close. Uh, this is a mountain move there. Alright, cool, 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 cool. I would like Algarb. Pretty please. You seem to be doing something. I don't know what it is that you're doing. As long as it's letting me take this, I'm into it. Very into it. Yeah, go go over there. Go take my high attrition Arabian provinces. Alright, there's more goal. <laughs> Let's be take Cairo. Because Cairo matters. Oh, I I like to develop provinces. I like to heavily develop provinces. And then the cavalry, well, that's nice and all, but not immediately useful. This is mountains, is it not? Yeah, so I should go and attack this. Because I'll be defending in the mountains. Yeah, I know, I know. I just left a bunch of people here to take this back, and that wasn't ideal. But I should be defending here, right? If I'm not defending this bullshit. Okay, yeah, they are attacking. So they have infantry combat ability. I have artillery combat ability, but my artillery is not in the back line. Oh yeah, one artillery. So one artillery versus 16. That's really what's been making the difference here, is their fire has been able to do so much more work than mine has. There we go. That works. Uh, am I gonna sack wipe that? No. No. I'm attacking into the mountains this time, so no. Where are you going? Sinai. And now you're running home. Okay. Fair enough. Gimme Alexandria, you fuck. <laughs> Just give me... Give me what I want. <laughs> I'm a simple man. <laughs> um, maybe that shouldn't be attacking on its own. Catch it, and... Eat it? Oh! The stress, there we go. Alright, there. Jesus Christ. I'm doing so bad at talking. Fortunately, you all are talking to each other. Mother of God. Yes! Yep, no, no, that's all I want. That's it. That's all I want for Christmas. Thank you, Santa. Thank you. Just core this form Arabia. Form Arabia? Hell yeah. All you have to do is beep, bop, boop. Done. Done. Hard part's done. Holy... Ooh. <laughs> uh, the hard part's over. Now it's the easy part of beating up our enemies. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Uh, so long as someone doesn't attack me immediately, we'll be fine. Who are my allies? Wuristan, 
Yeah, let's get more friends, though. Ethiopia, who's your rival? Uh, yep, that's not happening, that's not happening. Ju Gujarat, Gujarat, we, we can be friends. We can be boys, right? Um, who else? Timmy, Timmy, who hates you? <laughs> who hates you, Timmy? Transoxiania and Sindh. I've allied Sindh before. They were okay. They are probably a little resentful about the uh, betrayal. Yeah, let's go for the melee. Ooh. Does Boy have a similar bug in Millennium Dawn? Oh, man. I... Have I quit Millennium Dawn? Yeah, the, uh, the Millennium Dawn bug, if you're talking about the army thing, is not Millennium Dawn. That's just Hoi 4's AI. Oh, the performance right now is killing me. I am playing with all expansions. Yep. Alright. So, I'm gonna form Arabia. And then I'm gonna switch games. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna take a break regardless. It's only gonna be like a five minute break, something like that, but... I need to stretch my legs. Oh, Ally Delhi, maybe. That's what you were saying. Yeah, Delhi is quite big, right? Um, how many reasons? Now, we don't rival Persia yet, but we could probably fairly easily. So, you're right. They would be a good candidate. Let's make friends with them. Are you excited for 13 Province Ireland? Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. I think that's kind of a bit much, personally. If they're expanding this that much, you better start expanding the Holy Roman Empire that much. One space dot space two five. Is Twitch really reading one two five as a wink? That's believable, but stupid. Oh man, I should have mothballed these forts. Whoops. Discontentment sworn. I'll show you some goddamn discontentment. <laughs> uh. God, more HRE provinces are gonna kill my PC. Good. Good. Glorious HRE. I, like, if they keep adding more and more provinces... One here, one there... It's gonna start ruining performance, right? Yes. Fuck yes. Alright, the hard part's done. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Alright, so I have Conquest CBs all up on the Ottomans. I don't want it. it it's fine. We're, we're friends. I'm not gonna, not gonna do it, but... See this? See this though? All of this? All of this? Mine. Mine. Uh, yep, I already have that. I want that. Uh, you, my dude, you have all of that. And you want that because you want to connect your provinces. I can appreciate that. I want this because I want it. Is this gonna get us into hot water? No? You don't mind? No, come on. Take over. Because you're gonna be pissed about this. You don't care. You really don't care. Huh. That better be an achievement. <laughs> I will be releasing the Isle of Man getting Sweden's Thought Dynasty for Man's Not Thought Achievement. God, that would be... That'd be kind of out there for Paradox. It's good, but might be a bit much. Uh, okay, we can cancel this now. That's all we have to do. All we have to do is go humiliate a bunch of people. And to do that, all we need is a semi-functional army. And I do have a semi-functional army. This semi-functional army, however, has six cavalry that I can't actually afford. Yeah, alright, that's what the problem was. Ah. <sighs> So we're at... I need these favors to go higher so I can use them to win more wars, but... Yeah. Yeah. Hard part's over. Hallelujah. It's the end of our four, so YouTube, 
stop by again tomorrow, but until then, toodaloo.